everybody, back again with another CD find, CD, cracking CD finds. Um, just thought I'd share with a few of the things that I've got recently with you. Um, can't stop looking at CDs, can't stop looking at vinyl to be honest, but I've got, these are a few things I got online and are all I got from one charity shop. Um, just wanted to say before I start that, um, if you're actually interested in what I actually listen to, um, the old stuff, new stuff, whatever, then you can have a look at my Last FM account, um, where I scrubble absolutely everything. Um, I tend to, obviously I can scroll from Last FM, um, from Spotify, but if I do that with, if I listen to record CDs and stuff, and you can use Vinyl Scrubbler on your phone to actually scroll to your last FM account as you listen, which I think has been absolutely brilliant because I'm just a stats freak. I just really am. I just like to know what I've been listening to and how many times. And I've been now got been a member of Last FM for I think it's a, it's about 11 years now. Um, so I mean, there's over two 200,000 plays on there now. So if you want it interested, take a look. Right, on to the CDs. Right, I've just got to rearrange these a bit. Um, so the first CD I wanted to share. I've um, been after this for a while. Um, this is a 1990 album from the Human League, Romantic. I've um, been looking for a, a decently priced copy of this for quite a while. I haven't actually listened to it yet, but really looking forward to it. I do love Dare. Dare is just one of the best albums of all time and Hysteria and things like Lebanon. With this I'm really looking forward to listening to. Also got a couple of CDs from bands that were religion released in the 60s. The first one is Dr. John, The Night Tripper, and this is Gris Gris. Um, I'm not a big fan of Dr. John, well his latest stuff anyway, but this one is, is a bit of a gem. Absolutely love this. Um, sort of, it is a bit of a late night listen. Um, bluesy sort of late 60s stuff, but I really like that. And this one has been an absolute eye opener. This is Odyssey and Oracle by the Zombies. Um, this is the 30th anniversary edition, which has got stereo and mono mixes of the album, plus a couple of bonus tracks. Um, I think it's really new. Originally released something like 67, maybe 68. This is brilliant. This is what's playing at the moment. And I absolutely love this. Um, just the harmonies on it are fantastic. I do like a lot of late 60s rock and pop, but this is superb. Um, more recent thing that I picked that I've been, been listening to for the last few years is El Camino by the Black Keys. That's a really good album, things like Lonely Boy and uh, Gold on the Ceiling. Um, the cover's a bit battered, but I'm not really that bothered. Got it very cheap. Um, nice cake full of sleeve. Um, so I'm really chuffed to put that one at last. A metal band I've really got into, sort of on the verge of the stone of doom scene, um, is Mastodon. And up four of their CDs, so I've got Crack the Sky, which is great, Blood Mountain, which I've really been into, probably their best album, The Diathon, and I also picked up one of their more recent albums, which is The Hunter, and they're all a trippy piece, and that one I wasn't into so much, but since I've had it on CD and actually listened to it properly, much better. Um, one thing I do check out quite a lot is a thing, it's a site called the Doom Charts, which uh, people, bloggers who blog about the Doom, Stone of Doom scene, um, submit charts to in a central pool and then it all gets jumbled up. And they end up with a chart of the top 25 Doom albums, or Stoner albums, space rock, that kind of stuff, um, for each month. And one of the CD, CD that I really got into when I found out about that was this one. Um, this is Bruce 
Christ Uncovered. The album is called Black Magic. Uh, it's not death metal or anything, it's definitely doom. Um, but that's a good listen, really good listen. And then just to round off this first half of this, this batch, um, I bought this to listen to in the car. And it is Rock School Air Guitar Anthems. Yes. Um, sorry about that. But this is just a nice listen in the car. It's great to be driving along and just listening to this stuff. You've got Deep Purple, Billy Idol, um, Saxon, <laughs> Uriah Heap, Thin Lizzy, Humble Pie, Natural Boogie, which is the top track, Thunder. So it's a nice mix of old and, and well, 80s, 90s, maybe early 90s and 60s, 70s rock. It's really good to hear all these together. So that was a penny from Amazon. So I can't really complain about that. The second batch that I'm going to show you right now is from a charity shop in Heavy Tree called The Force charity shop, I think it's a force, but anyway, it's, um, it's been on TV in Devon, on Devon, in Devon, on Devon TV, whatever, um, as a really top-notch charity shop, it's like a little rabbit warren, and they have all kinds of stuff in there, really good book department, brilliant CD, now it's got much better than it used to be, but I managed to pick up all these CDs, and they were only 50p each, which is absolutely superb. So, without further ado, let's just get these in. Here we go. So the first one is the Lice Richard Pageant by R.E.M. Not so many famous tracks on that, but it's a really solid listen. Always like 80s R.E.M. Um, try and pick up things that I haven't got. This one I already did have a copy of it, Unfortunately, one track skipped, so I thought I'd give it another go for 50p. Because I do like the album, and this is American Hi Fi. I think it's their debut album. Um, but that's a good listen. If I ever see stuff that's been released on Epitaph, I always pick it up. Um, this is Less Than Jake, uh, Epitaph punk band. Um, I just like that kind of 90s punk sound that, that Epitaph seemed to specialise in. And that's a good solid listen. Pick this up for a bit of fun. There we go, Commodore's Greatest Hits. I, Commodore's not my favourite band, but they've done the odd track here and there, and I thought for 50p, well, it's less than the price of a single, so there you go. Can't beat a bit of Otis Ready. Really rating right as a singer. Such a brilliant singer. Um, don't know who any of the tracks on this one, but it's got Hard to Handle, which the Black Crows later did, which I absolutely love. That was on their debut album. Um, really looking forward to hearing that one. This is Sting and the Dream of the Blue Turtles. Sting turned into such a boring old... Well, I think I'll leave the rest of that unsaid. But this was... I love The Police. I thought a lot of their stuff was brilliant. Ghost in the Machine is such a great album. Um, this is Sting's first solo album. And it's actually quite good. You've got things like, I really love the track Russians on here, which was a single over here. Um, but there's some really, really lovely tracks on here. It's a really good album. Wouldn't touch the rest of his output by himself with a barge pole, but that was worth getting for it to be. And then we've got a perfect Sunday morning listen. Um, Dusty Springfield's hits. This has got you know, all, the, all the Only Wanna Be With You, all the well-known tracks. Uh, it's got a version, her version of Windmills of Your Mind, which I really like. Uh, Son of a Preacher Man, of course. Look of Love. But that is lovely on a Sunday morning. Just the right sort of thing, just to get you going after a heavy Saturday night. And then the last CD I picked up from there was a, a bit of an oddity. I I've heard of this... this group before, I don't know if it's solo, if it's, a, if it's a group, but it's Beirut, and this is March of the Zapotec and Real People of Holland. I've only listened to the first CD, and he seems to take Mexican music as an inspiration, and it's a really interesting listen. I actually can't wait to hear the second CD, which I presume is something to do with Holland, but who knows, it could be anything. Anyway, so there's that. 
So, thanks very much for, for taking the time to watch this. Um, hope you've found some more interesting finds. But keep collecting, keep watching, subscribe if you want. And if you want to, check out my last F on the channel on, under Grebo69, which is now the name of this channel. Okay, well thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye!